Elton John, thank you very much for giving us this interview. Do you remember being in Portugal in the early 70s? Playing the field. Yes. yes. But you know that Portugal is a bit uh, upset with you at the moment. Well, I know. I, I, I don't play to people who smoke, for a start. And um, people were very slow coming in, which is fine. Um, but then people were smoking, and I said, I can't play to people who smoke, and people wouldn't stop smoking. You're a non-smoker since the late 80s because you had yourself a fright, didn't you? Yeah, I, just, I never smoked cigarettes, but I smoked joints, which were English joints, which were rolled with tobacco. And, um, <laughs> and they were called spliffs, I think, throughout the rest of the world. The, the, joints were the Bob Marley types. Uh, and, um, and where did the marijuana come from? From Morocco? From Morocco or uh, Lebanon or whatever, or Maui Waui or whatever. Uh, um, <laughs> but I was in Australia and I was doing uh, the live in Australia tour with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra and I had problems talking. Mm -hmm. I I had problems singing, but I could sing, but I couldn't talk. And if you listen to the album, you hear my voice is very, very kind of husky. There's another thing we have in common. A couple of years ago, you had a pacemaker put in your heart, and I have a stent in mine. What's that? Uh, <laughs> a stent is when your coronary gets blocked oh, yeah. because you're too heavy a smoker. I, I didn't That's, do drugs. Isn't that what David Bowie had? I, have? Yes, exactly. I yeah. didn't do drugs, but I was a heavy cigar yeah. smoker. And yeah. with all the nicotine, of course, I had my, my share of problems too. I was lucky I didn't need the open heart surgery, so didn't you. But yeah. uh, uh, the fact that uh, someone tempered with your heart in the uh, <laughs> two or three years ago, does it? Uh, make you stop and, and think twice about the future and death and life? No, no? I, I, I live life from day to day anyway. I've always, you know, you can't worry about the future. I learned that um, when I got sober, I learned that I always used to worry about what was going to happen in three months. It's so funny it's when like, you say, when I got sober, as if you yeah. lived in, in, in another life where you... Yeah, I did. I mean, yeah. I was always thinking about things, you know, worrying about things that were going to happen in four months' time. It's like, it's called projection. It's like, what's the point? People keep telling me about that, and it's perhaps a part of your uh, life that uh, isn't so known as all that. Your, your work with your AIDS Foundation and all the people you help with you, with raising money and and uh, ways of uh, making the lives of those who suffer easier. From all your friends, from all the people you knew, I know it happened to me. Um, did you lose many friends with, with the? Uh, yeah, I lost. I lost a lot of friends. I lost probably. I have um, a little chapel at my house in England, and I have on the names, on the on, on um, marble um, stone plinth, on uh, plinths, mm -hmm. the names of the people that I lost for AIDS. Mm -hmm. um, I have my family in there, and people. But I must have 50 or 60 people in there. That were I was a spiritual man. I am spiritual. I'm not particularly religious, but I do like churches, and I like the idea of religion. I just think it's been, shang it's been um, hijacked. By Absolutely. Yeah. What did you feel uh, when you uh, sang that beautiful version of Candle in the Wind during Diana's uh, funeral? Was it your hardest professional challenge? I had a teleprompter uh, because I thought if I sing Goodbye Norma Jean, they're going to chop my head off. Of course. And, and I, you can't in that situation take any chances. Absolutely. You have to draw on all your professional experience. You, I, I couldn't afford to be emotional because I was being, I was, other people, I was there to sing so other people could be emotional. How did you do that? Um, I just very stoic and I drew on all my professional experience. There so was you, once in the third verse when my voice cracked. Mm -hmm. um, but apart from that, I just had to bite my lip, and throughout the whole funeral, it was such a surreal experience. I mean, we were sitting there for the funeral, and then I went and sang the song, and then we went back, um, and I, re I went to the, record the song straight away. How, which, how, how do they make up these things? It's just, just They paid people money, 5,000 pounds, to say that I urinated on people while I tied them up to beds, and that, okay. places I'd never been to. They followed me around the world, they bugged my hotel suites, they made my life a misery. And in the end, what I was interested in, I got a, a very big sum of money, but I mm. never went to court because, you know, the more the, every time they printed something, I issued them a writ, and they thought that they would wear me down, and they very nearly did wear me down. I mean, it was just, you know, one day, you know, one day after another, you're on the front of the newspaper with something more, even more disgusting to to, to read about yourself. Absolutely. But I just would not let Rupert Murdoch get the better of me. Um, and the thing I wanted most was the front page apology in the same typeface, mm -hmm. and I got that. I got the same headline as they printed originally, and we, we are sorry, Elton. And that was the big thing for me. And it meant, mm -hmm. it meant that they, 
I, I, when, I didn't care if I lost all my money or had to sell all my possessions. I would have fucking fought them tooth and nail. Um, I wouldn't let them get away with such absolute disgraceful behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, other people at that, that time, they were printing things about they couldn't have the financial resources to fight back. Mm -hmm. And, it, it, you know, the press sometimes think in Britain that they are above the law and they can print anything like that. Well, they can have an opinion of me and they can mm -hmm. say what they feel. But if they print a lie, I'm going to challenge them on it. Mm -hmm. yes, I'm good.